Tonight, we have an alien invader on our table. The Cigar Volant is a wine that seems French, seems old world, and yet is Californian to its core. Back in 1984, Randall Graham created the first vintage of this wine. And it is a blend reminiscent and modeled after the wines of Chateauneuf de Pop. Chateauneuf de Pop is a sub-region in the Côte de Rhone Valley of southeastern France. And out there, for their reds, they blend Grenache, Syrah, Mouvedre, Sanso, Carignan, and upwards of 13 different grapes to create a fairly complex, rich wine representative of place. And what Randall Graham did was first go to UC Davis one of the greatest and most well-known institutions in the U.S. for viticulture and winemaking. He hoped to make Pinot Noir, but it turned out that Pinot Noir tends to prefer cooler climates, places with moderate, to kind of foggy, well, kind of long-growing seasons, and California just really wasn't ready for that, especially for the area that Randall Graham wanted to grow in. His family bought him vineyards in, or at least plots of land in Santa Cruz Mountains, California, which was far too warm for Pinot Noir. But what he found was is that the grapes known to the Côte de Rhone did brilliantly out there. Uh, Syrah Grenache, uh, both of which thrive in warm places like southern Spain, southern France, along the Mediterranean coast, in Corsica, Sardinia, and other places as well, did fantastically in Santa Cruz Mountains. And so, Back in 1984, he blended them into his first wine, the Cigar Volant, named after the flying cigars that the French had banned from landing in their vineyards and worried that they would destroy their vineyards. Uh, they were worried basically of flying saucers of aliens back in the 50s, and Cigar Volant is in more or less kind of homage to that sort of silly legal tradition that happened in France. Trying the wine, first of all to check its color, it has a fantastic kind of garnet rim to it, clear, wonderfully intense, definitely. This is a 2004, and it's six years old in bottle at this point, from when it was first pulled off the vines, and it has a beautiful color to it. On the nose, there's fancy, wonderful kind of rustic herbs and sage and thyme notes, a lovely kind of sharp minerality, crushed black pepper, and underneath all of that is blackberry fruit, a very kind of rich, dark berry note that is very reminiscent of a lot of Cote de Rhone. It certainly has that slight hint of Brettanomyces chavresii, the wild yeast that kind of gets in and has a little muskiness to the wine as well, which is surprising in a Californian. Usually in Californians they'll do everything they can to keep that out of there, to keep the wine as clean seeming as possible. On the palate, it's brilliantly fresh. Wonderful kind of medium to full acidity. Uh, keeps it very clean and very refreshing, very uh, lively. The tannins are there, they're not too overpowering though, I'd say they're kind of moderate tannins, fairly medium tannins. The body is not overly full either. The alcohol, around 13.5, isn't overpressive. It's pretty well restrained actually for a Californian wine. And even compared to some Cote de Rhone, which even in Chateauneuf de Pop are pushing upwards of 14 to 15% in fairly warm vintages. So for this to be 13.5 is surprising actually. and kind of fun. Uh, this makes for a great food wine. It has lovely kind of tart cherry, tart cranberry notes, in addition to the, all that herbaceousness, that kind of licorice, that, you know, slightly saline quality. And on the finish, it ends kind of minty in a funny way. And the finish is long, certainly. This is a very good quality wine. I would have this with food, though. Uh, the 2004 definitely shows a bit of structure, and you don't want to have it necessarily on its own until you've gotten used to it. But it'd go brilliantly with a variety of grilled meats. Black bean soup would go really nicely with this as well. Um, and for an alien wine, 
transplanted from France to California? I'm pretty impressed. This would be hard to tell if you're blind tasting it against most of the French, because it's just refreshing, funky, not over-extracted, not overdone, just a good wine. And for around, you know, the high 20s, low 30s, it's a pretty good value too, actually, compared to Chateauneuf de Pop, which starts usually around like $40 or more, and can range anywhere up to the high hundreds. So, if you can, try Le Cigar Volant from Bonnie Dune Vineyards. Randall Graham, even though he's moved, Randall Graham has moved on to other things, Italian varieties, He's moved on to Tanat, which is a Spanish grape, but this mainstay of his that they keep producing is definitely solid and respectable and meant to be enjoyed with a lot of things.